Hi, I'm Chris Clark, Artistic Director of Cinema St. Louis. We're the presenters of the 20th annual Whitaker St. Louis Filmmaker Showcase. I'm here with guest director, director uh, Andrew Berger uh, with Victim Number 17, a Scream fan film. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a fan film is, it's a film made by a fan of a comic book or a TV show or a film. Um, they don't necessarily and usually don't have uh, permission per se, or legal permission to make uh, these films, but it's an homage, um, and a loving homage by a fan, and this is one. Um, you've already had nearly 20,000 views on YouTube, so people have clearly, uh, you know, uh, like it. Um, I know you're a, a Webster grad, as am I, go Gorlox. Mm -hmm. Uh, I graduated a few years before you did, but I graduated in 2015. So um, <clears throat> what led you to this particular fandom in film? Um, well, I actually, I had had the idea for Victim 17 a long time before. Um, the idea, because I come from an MMA background, and I've always saw and watched horror movies. I'm like, how come they will try to fight the monster, the killer, whatever? And it wasn't until probably about six weeks before I actually wrote Victim 17 that I had seen Scream. I finally got around to see it and then I ended up loving it. And then I finally took that idea I had and thought, I could just make this fan film. And I think that actually probably helped a lot with the, uh, the amount of views that it has. Yeah, sure. It, um, you know, fan films take different forms depending on the, the you know, the filmmaker. Um, <clears throat> yours isn't a strict, um, retelling of the story, you just kind of use the main villain, uh, you know, monster, if you will, the, the mask character, which was many, many people and genders, you know, over the whole series. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, you kind of made it, but, you know, what's unique about this, you made it your own, you put a different twist on it, and you, you know, put parts of your own life, um, you know, who's going to fight back, and there's, you know, a, a great twist at the end, like, you know, who's, who's victimizing who? Um, mm -hmm. So that was a fun uh, bit to see. Uh, what was the biggest challenge in putting this film together? Um, probably very low, very low budget. And one thing that some would see as a challenge, and I actually like, is I it was all non-actors acting. But I thought they all did really good. There was a little bit of a because none, none of them have ever worked on any kind of movie before, so there was a lot of stuff where they'd be like, "Well, how how is this?" How is this going to look right? How is this going to, I'm like, just movie magic, just trust me. <laughs> and there was some hesitation on some of the stuff that we did. And then when it came out, they were like, oh, this is actually really good. Good job. Um, so challenge wise, it was just kind of like, what's the budget and making sure everything came together. But overall, it wasn't, wasn't too bad. Yeah, with a fan film, this is, this is something that you make because you want to, and it's for fun. You know, you're never going to be able to sell it or do anything or, or really, you know, do too much on a festival circuit. So YouTube is the right uh, avenue. How have responses been with those almost 20,000, 19,000 plus views? Um, mostly positive responses, I think? Mm-hmm. Uh, mostly positive. And uh, when I first made it, I sent it out to some uh, horror movie websites. And a, a few picked it up, and Dread Central was the biggest one that did. I think that article probably initially helped a lot. And mostly positive. Mostly positive. I think there's like, at the moment, there's like 115 likes and like 15 dislikes. Yeah, you know, and people are jerks. People are jerks. Don't listen to them. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so now that you've done this one, uh, are there, is there anything else you want to tackle in this same genre or are you going you know, to make any other films you're working on right now? Um, I have, I, I want to actually do a lot of stuff with that same Victim 17 character and me and Aaron who was in it, we, we'll be watching horror movies and come up with a how would he fight that and there's a, there's, a, there's quite a few I have in various stages scripts, you know, short scripts for him fighting different monsters and some, some original, some still fan film. And then I have like oh, some some feature film ideas I eventually like to get to also. Yeah, I'm so I'm intrigued um, by you know the twists and turns that um, you know kept me surprised uh, and and I enjoyed you know grisly uh, as it as it was, um, but you. but really fun. So I uh, you know I hope you enjoyed uh, making it, and um, we're certainly interested in in seeing more. Um, you know, maybe you could uh, have a, a, a three film genre and throw in a Karate Kid and Scream and get all kinds of fighting and 
<laughs> stuff that, in there. That, that, that is a strong possibility. Oh, okay. Well, good. Uh, we want to see that. Uh, <clears throat> wax on, slice off, you know, uh, <laughs> whatever you want to do. Um, so how's your, um, how's your summer and spring been? You been working from home or be able to go to the office at all? I go to the office every, every third day. And other than that, it's doing, doing stuff at home. And uh, also, I just, that's why it's empty. I put, only put a baby Sinclair and all that just so it wasn't a completely blank shelf right now. Just moved into a new place. So it's been a, it's been a, it's an interesting, uh, exciting and boring summer all at the same time. Yeah, lots of different things. Um, and as I mentioned in the pre-show, uh, before we kind of got started here, I really enjoyed this part of it. Um, talking to filmmakers and connecting faces and voices with their cinematic visions that we can then share with our audiences. Um, so all to the good. Uh, well, Andrew, you know, thanks for submitting the film. Um, you, you, you emailed me in advance saying, hey, this is a fan film. It's already on YouTube. Do you care? I did not um, because it's, you know, I like horror films and we can do what we want. Uh, and even though it's had a bunch of views, I wanted to get you a bunch more. And it, it worked very well with the program. You know, you're a Webster grad and a local filmmaker. So, you know, you're in your spot. So I'm glad you reached out and, and went ahead and did it. And I hope you enjoy your uh, showcase experience. And uh, on behalf of Baby Sinclair and I, we want you to keep working and, uh, and, and do more. Are, are you going to do a, a dinosaur? That would have been harder, I guess, to do a dinosaurs fan film. But I guess that would take a lot more work. I would love to do that. It takes, the, the logistics would be an issue. Yes, I can, I can only imagine. So yeah, there aren't too many baby dinosaurs roaming around. So, all right. Well, hey, thanks for spending part of your afternoon with me chatting and uh, we'll see you in the future at the actual theater one of these days. Oh, I hope so. Okay, take care. Have a good afternoon. Thank you very much. You too. Bye.